Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 of Scenario 4 of the campaign Invasion from the Unknown. We are going to be continuing the scenario. Last time round, Galas and his troops found an oasis and defeated the malingering orcs that were inhabiting it. And this time round, we are going to continue to the west and see what happens. Now before setting off, I might want to recruit some more units. How many losses have we had so far? Only two. A ghost and a vampire bat. I think we can replenish those losses and continue on. So, you are heading over to this house. You are heading over to this house. Skeletons, you just power on forward. That is one thing you're good at. Um, everyone is in a an oasis, so you shouldn't need to worry too much about getting dehydrated. Nevertheless, slow and steady wins the race. So you progress forward with Anlindi. And I'm going to recruit a bat and a ghost. Ghosts may seem a bit silly in a way, but uh, high level ghost units like shadows and particularly wraiths are insanely powerful and very, very useful. So I'll feel no qualms at all about recruiting a few more. And actually, you know what? I'm flush with money, so I'm going to get another ghost. Okay, how can, how far can you move? You can go up here. And then you, you ought to get some help too. As do you. And you bring up the rear. You're almost at a level anyway. And next turn we are ready to head out. And Malkeshar will even be on full health. This bat is going to head north and see what it can find. I know it said not to stray too far from the road, but uh, the temptation is real. These hostile spirits. Is this a trick of yours, Malkashar? No. They are corrupted souls who have haunted the desert for an eternity. Victims of the destruction that turned Erdia into an endless desert. Physical weapons are of little use against them, and they always find a way back. Unless, of course, they are banished from our world by spellcasters capable of wielding the arcane fire, or possibly a necromancer and his minions. Alright, so there's a ghost over there that suggests that we do not want to go in that direction. You go around the north side of the oasis. And Malkashar, you just head straight out, see what we come in come across and uh, the moment the answer is nothing um it's the long dark which means that it will be quite a while now before anyone needs to worry about getting dehydrated so you can all i think my elven friends you can all just move out as fast as you can and we will deal with the consequences You scout a little bit to the north. Uh, what's that? That's a ghost. Okay. Um, I don't want my ghost to be attacked by that ghost, so I'll move it south of touch. And there aren't any more ghosts there.
Well, this is all very peaceful so far. This rider has got quite a lot of experience. It's going to catch up to everyone else eventually. There we are. Now this ghost will get to attack next turn. The ghosts are extremely powerful against other undead, so I don't want to lead with them. If anything, I should really just be doing exactly what I'm doing, leading with Malkashar. However, I could put one of my ghosts, or even two of my ghosts, in the lead. With some leadership. Oh, there's someone down there. Oh, that's a scorpion. And I think the scorpions are mostly just annoying, though they can cause poison damage. Multiple scorpions. best people to deal with the scorpions are probably the skeletons. Because the skeletons themselves don't get poisoned. So if you go there, you get to attract one of these scorpions, that sounds good. Over here things are clear, I'm going to lose some visibility behind us but that's fine. Turn to the darkness from whence you came. <laughs> Alright, Malkashar is paradoxically doing the Lord's work here, defeating these irritating ghosts, and I think Unlinde can jump in and take out the last one. There we go, and they are now banished. How, how late are we? Third watch. Okay, we've got one more watch before we need to worry about dehydration again. And that means that Al Kashar, you can come down here and fight the scorpions. As for the elves, you press on. There is another ghost. There will probably be more of those. Unfortunately, Anuli is now substantially slower than the rest of my troops. Maybe I should have given her a speed upgrade when I had the option. Oh well. Scorpion. More scorpions over there. But no great concern. Ghost can then get the kill, I hope. 
there we go, and is now reasonably well on its way towards a level. With this fast skeleton rider bringing up the rear. Amusingly, that ghost ended up on higher health than it would have done. Alright, now dawn is on its way, so now we really do need to make sure that people don't get dehydrated. And Linde, you take the first one. That is one banished ghost. And then maybe this archer can get the second. No, if we go in with Malkashar, then I uh, can't quite. Oh, yes, he can reach. He can reach. Sorry, tell a lie. In that case, you go around here. Malkashar. Alright, all the ghosts I've taken out so far have been banished. And now I just need to make sure that everyone is in a configuration where they won't need to worry too much about. So if you go there, and you run up here, you can take this defensive position and you'll be nicely supported by the captain. And then you skeletons can push forward a bit. task is to take out these scorpions down here. There is a ghost up here, but it's too far away to hit this ghost. Ah, no level for you. Now well, then you hopefully finish the job. There we go. Interestingly, they start using their sting when they're on low health, almost as if they're expecting to be killed. Hmm. So many scorpions. Scorpions everywhere. With only one ghost, at least in the near vicinity. Oh, I miscalculated that. Ooh. It's the daytime. And you know what that means? It means my ghosts are going to be much less effective. Ridiculous. Okay. All right. This um, this scorpion is apparently some sort of scorpion deity. The Scorpion King. Well, you just go in there and have a whack with your whale attack. <laughs> yeah, this scorpion does not want to be hit at sixty percent. Alright, that scorpion can be ignored, that scorpion can probably also be ignored as long as I don't step in that pothole. Then someone just needs to run ahead and deal with this one. But they can come to me, 
so let's just good job you come forward and then if you want to attack anyone you can attack Galas or you can attack the captain and everyone else is more or less safe and sound Malkashar can come along with the main group so that he can get some healing. And the skeletons are going to proceed somewhat off to the side. I'm assuming I'm going to have to go south again anyway. You stay where you are and gain a little bit of health, my friend. to Galas to finish the job, which he does just fine. Uh, and Linda, you uh, slide forward like the slow, slow, slow thing you are. And everyone else. This scorpion, amazingly, is still alive, so let us change that. There we go, and we now have a wraith, and wraiths are a beautiful unit. Just look at them. Massive sword, not much else to them. They've got an attack that allows them to regain health. As long as you don't put them too near an arcane caster, they're basically going to be fine. And then you skeletons can just trek across the desert like so. This bat can do a little bit of forward scouting. And it doesn't look like there's anything too threatening in the vicinity. Though that's the kind of thing where when you say it, you regret it pretty much instantly. You get health, you head towards the main group. Now even the skeletons are a lot faster on the path. Bat scouting, bat scouting. Don't want to scout too far ahead, occasionally strange things happen in these campaigns where you scout too far ahead. Ha, huh, see what I mean? There are bandits ahead. What is this? Are those elves? Like in the stories? Oh, I missed something there. Come on, men. It's time to smash some bones. I don't suppose we would make a much better impression without the necromancer's minions marching amongst us, would we? And now, the objective is to defeat the leader of the Barbarians controlling the Mountain Pass. Whether this will be the final objective, or just an interim objective, we shall see! 
this bandit, this fugitive, is extremely tough. That's a level 3 unit, and one that is basically good at pretty much everything. So, no, nope, it has concealment. If it's in a village, it can't be detected. Worth remembering. And now I can see a trapper can move forward another one or two without running into range. So let's do that. We have no other enemies in sight so far. Okay, time for some action! I'm rather hoping that the enemy has just spent all of its resources on this one very expensive unit and uh, won't have anything else to challenge me with, but I doubt that's the case. Very fast. You are extremely fast. It's the daytime, so I actually want you to attack me right now. Lead with the elves. Bring Malkashar alongside. And these skeletons can continue their gradual trudge across the desert. There is some road there, that will help them. Bye bye scorpions, have a nice life. As for you, go and get some health. Okay, so it looks like all is as I said it would be. You maybe go and scout down to the south a little bit. Yeah, doesn't look like there are all that many of these bandits. There's a big bandit, the namesake bandit, um, and he's got a big morning star in his level 2 unit. So it's all tough units, but not very many. Hopefully this will end well. Have my previous villages been captured? No, they haven't. They're still in my hands. Good. <laughs> Alright, so as we enter the dusk phase, Mergen the Fugitive has taken a few heavy hits already. Um, it gets boring killing everyone with Malkeshar in these missions. Um, he's quite vulnerable to impact, so I'm not going to make it him. I'm going to let Fedor have a go. Might take 24 damage if I do that. How, how near is this one? Pretty near. Okay, but the, but the, but the ghosts can run interference. Lovely. Um, since it's dusk, it's only first dusk, but um, I actually don't need to worry about about dehydration. All right. Someone's been spending a little bit more time at the gym, uh, and it's not Hanlin Day. But you're close to a level now. You only need a level two kill to get a level now. Who else wants to wants to have a go? Someone who could use the damage, maybe you. Oh, you're gonna take. Everyone takes a lot of damage from this guy. What about you? Now uh, you. Now the good thing about you attacking is that, assuming you don't get killed, which you probably will, you would do. You'd get a level. Uh, We'll save that. So much damage, both ranged and melee. What about the bat? Could get killed, could get a good hit or two in. Let's try it. Yeah, lovely. Alright, now someone should be able to get the kill without too much trouble. Uh, and I'm going to make it 
if I can. Ugh. Now we've got a Bone Knight, level 2, with a ranged attack on a horse. Galas. Run forward. How fast are these guys? Not fast at all. Okay, good. I can do this. Quite a lot of damage there, but it was worth it because I got rid of two very powerful units. You group up with the main posse. to can come out the flank and do a little bit of scouting together like the best buddies that you are uh, everyone inches forward it's the short dark in the morning we'll have to worry about dehydration again so let's first see ah Malkasha, you are so slow so slow now, the annoying thing here is that my elven units can get in here without too much difficulty, but I best not let that happen because because you'll get dehydrated. So Malkasha, you advance, all of you, now there's quite a lot of undead units who can come and uh, dish out some beat down here. I'm more worried about the bandit because the bandit is pretty decent at killing units that are bones, so for instance I could lose in one go to this bandit. So I really somehow need to block off this bandit, or optimally even take him out entirely. What about you? No, you're not likely to succeed in that, are you? I think this is... Yeah. I lose my level 2 Bone Knight. I'm just going to run in and shoot him. And then block with everyone else. So you can come around here. So far so good. Now we just need to get some other units in, and specifically these ghosts. I might not get any kills if I do this, but that's okay. I'm playing the long game. Oh! Yeah, they're all pretty trapped, and my Bone Knight at least shouldn't be killable, not in one go. You go and scout. Nothing interesting over there.
ghost survives. Alright, now I can think about how I'm going to finish these guys. So first of all, Undead Scatter, this is a job for the Elves. Three hits from Anlande, and it will be a level. Oh, Anlande, you live to disappoint me, don't you? Galas, you come down here. Very nice. Now, you are actually relatively close to what's called an after maximum level advancement. Which is handy because uh, in the later level, in the later levels of the three main heroes that I have to keep alive, Galas is the one who's the squishiest. And now my captain is a marshal. Now I need to arrange everyone so that no one gets dehydrated. Can't see anyone. This is interesting. Why is there no one around? Have I killed everyone already? I sure hope so. Yeah, no enemies in sight. These skeletons at the back are kind of limping along. They've not been huge amounts of use so far, but they will be if we run into a more fortified base. Has everyone moved? Looks like it. Still no enemies in sight. Okay. The pace setter is as usual. And Linda with her rather terrible slowness. Galas and my marshal are on full health. And all the elves are adjacent to one another. You keep scouting down this way. Oh, there's wolves over there. Alright, I don't really want to go over there anyway, so that's fine. What about south? Another ghost. Don't really want to go there either, so that's fine. Nothing much down here. Okay, finally we see some more bad guys. And it's a poacher. Poach me an egg. Um, Alright, we've got some weaker outlaw units now. Two level 1s and a level 2. Nothing too threatening. And another level 2 in the background. I love this rogue sprite. They're so, so fast and so good at dodging. And more, there are foot pads in the background. Oh dear, well, at least I can ignore these guys, because that corner of the map is not at all useful to me. There's a signpost there, clicking on it doesn't do anything, maybe I have to move a unit to it. Alright, I don't think these guys are going to pose too much of a threat. Maybe they can even kill some of my skeletons, and reduce my income burden, but for that my skeletons would have to be at the front.
these two should get cleaned up pretty nicely by ghosts, so I'm going to send some ghosts their way. And as ever, Team Skeleton are in the rear. That one to do. Ah, uh -huh, more wolves. Lovely. Lots more wolves. Let's not bother with them. Alright, this guy must be a sucker for punishment because he's stepping up to the man himself. Big MK. I'll go down here. Wow, okay. You're about to practice, aren't you? Just wishing a Galas could go in there and give him a good whomping, but uh, sadly that's not going to happen. And it's mainly not going to happen because Galas will get dehydrated if he does that. Um, so, take a little bit of damage with the Bone Knight. Very good, very good. Trudge on. Now, I can also get in on this poacher. No one else can reach. The good thing about combat engagements with ghosts is that if it's not going well, you can just run away. They're faster than everyone else. They are one of the most irritating units, if you're playing against them. On the other hand, they're not hugely powerful, especially during the day. And that's what we're seeing right now. Three of them just attacked and only did 12 damage between them. But, every little counts. What about this bat? Uh, scout forward. All right, well, nothing that terrifies me just yet. The big thing to be scared out on maps like this is uh, running out of turns, in fact. So it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon either. It's coming back round to the long dark, and we all know what that means. That means that I don't need to worry about dehydration and that my undead are beasts. These two are a little bit better defended, but still, I'm not too worried about sending. I'm not too worried about sending ghosts in against them.
You could come over and attack my elves. Come on, I dare you. You get some health. You get some health. And you... Just hang around. Oh, got me in a pincer's movement. Oh no, actually that is quite annoying. <laughs> pincer's movement, lol. Okay, um, that ghost could very easily have been killed there. I need to be more careful with my ghosts. But, on the plus side, it's the long dark. And that means that some of my tougher units can uh, get in there. Uh, you go and go and rest. <laughs> Shark cannot reach. <laughs> None of the rest of these folks can reach, so. close to the bandit's base now. Oh. Now the frustrating thing about these dudes is I can take it as well as dishing it out. Still, yeah, let's go for the combat approach. level 1 skeletons not exactly proving themselves right now. If the bat goes in there, the bat will die. So... The bat is going to stay where it is. Or rather, move the tab forward. And... Yeah, let's have that. So, lovely environment where we have to worry not one jot about people getting dehydrated. <laughs> like shooting fish in a barrel. Okay, right, now finally, my undead friends get to, uh, get to have a bit of the action. <laughs> not too shabby. Um, but you're the only one, aren't you? Yeah, the rest of you can't make it. Okay, and Linde. So close to that level now. Uh, maybe you stay where you are and get some health back. Bit of leadership goes a long way. You're too slow. You're not too slow, but you can't get in for your nasty ability, and you're not too slow. So 
Probably the best bet is to play it safe in this instance. There's a level 3 ranger up there. Okay, those guys are pretty nasty. I'll have to figure out some clever way of defeating him. I wonder if it will involve Malkeshar just taking the shots. Good progress, good progress. Not in any hurry right now. easy kill to be had over here. At least I hope it is. Trixie little bugger. Alright, someone else. Alright, now both of these ghosts are relatively high up. Kesha, you can't go far, so... Uh, but I do want you to end up down there so that you can help out with that ranger. Um, in that case, you just power through. Someone else can deal with this. Someone else, someone else. Galas, you're fast. Go up there and get some hits from the hill. Or one hit from the hill, that's fine too. Well, I should be careful with my wording. Could go in there, get some shots off, but it would be a little bit risky. Could you get killed if you do that? Um, yeah, you could, couldn't you? If you, if it's unlikely, but if the rogue hits with everything, then you would go down. I'm gonna chance that. Um, at least let's take, let's get, let's get the bat over here and see if there's anyone else to worry about. No, it doesn't look like there is. Still go down. <laughs> you might want to run away now, or maybe, yeah. take it instead. Oh, but if you do that, then the ranger will come out. But the ranger coming out is good, because then Malkishar can get there. Almost. Go, go, go! Ah! Alright, now I'm hopeful that killing the bat will be more of a priority. than killing my range, my Avenger. But uh, knowing how the AI works, hopeful is not the same as thinking that it's actually probable. <coughs> Alright. 
R.I.P. Lemail. Five hits at 60%. Well, you know, you were a good friend to me, and I won't have to do the posh accent anymore until another elf comes along. That really is very frustrating. If you think that being up on a hill will save you from the might of Malkir Shah, you are sorely mistaken. <laughs> now it's nearly dawn now, and Linde is going to get dehydrated if we go on this way. And I'm not sure there's a huge amount that I can do about that. Maybe if I leave this one to the Baneblade and the Elves. So I can see a few more. Oh, there's an Assassin in there. They're quite nasty. not getting the good end of the random number generator deal today. Alright, elves, form up. There's only four of you left. do with luring you out really but uh, maybe the bat will get that to happen. Do I want to sacrifice this bat? Yeah why not. Oh look a bat! say you would not think that this guy is going to get 70%. Well, maybe you would. This one poor poacher can come out. Ah no, because then you need to be next to Van Linde to prevent horrible, horrible damage. Um, or you can go down here and then you'll heal these skeletons. Mal? Stay there and gain a couple of hit points. Ow! The dice gods have abandoned me.
This is fine. All of these people can in principle reach me, but only one of them actually can. Keshaw, you stay on your ridge and just go for... Just <laughs> And then this ghost. Oh. Oh. Can become. Ooh, Wraith or Shadow, Wraith or Shadow. I still think Wraiths are generally the superior unit. So I'm gonna go for another Wraith. signpost says, Eisenstone clan, south are Hagen Hills Fortress. You go up there to provide support to Team Ghost. We're running short on money now, this is the problem when people level up when you go across the dunes. Tried to poison you, didn't succeed. Ah, oh, that'll show you. That's a good amount of damage. And I think now... Oh, and Linda should be... Ah, oh, no. Too risky, too risky. Also too risky. Actually, I actually don't want to level this ghost up yet, because it's not really efficient for me to do so. So I'm going to see if Malka Shah can get a little bit of drainage damage. <laughs> or just get stabbed repeatedly by a little boy. Rubbish. Now I do need to kill this assassin, and if you can't do it... No, you should be able to. Two hits, two hits, come on, come on, Anlande! <laughs> Why is this happening to me? And I need that slot to prevent everyone from getting dehydrated. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, once the horror has worn off, what do I do now? Um, probably heal on Monday. And the other two of you can just suck it as far as health is concerned. Now who can reach me? Hopefully not very many people. The boss can't, Garen the Huntsman. Only these two. Uh, they could take out my Wraith if I'm very unlucky here. And uh, given my record so far, 
It doesn't seem like very unlucky is a crazy thing to happen. Seems like you're going for the beast on Galas as much as you can, strategy. Well, we'll do damage. Oh, stop it. Units have an annoying tendency of suiciding on Malkashar and uh, taking quite a lot of damage in the process. Alright, Amlinde, you come and become finally a level 4 creature. And now you've got the same healing ability as my Shide, which is good. Someone else can get this assassin kill. Um, do I want an Elven Archer to get it? Do I want... Ah, no, I want my Baron to get it if you can. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, you'll be whatever the upgrade of a Death Baron is in no time. I think it's a Death Knight. It could be a Death Duke or Death Viscount or something else of that nature. Alright, now everyone else here is not so worrying. What I do need to do is put some tougher units in front so that they can defend. And that actually is not quite as easy as it seems like it should be. So you're reasonably tough. You can come out here and take a hit or two. quite a lot of hits. Um, you. Go there. You come down here and stand next to the druid. The shide. And then you go... Ooh, if you go there... Can you reach? Yes. Can you reach? Yes. Can you reach? Yes. Can you... Ooh. Okay, that's quite a lot of potential damage. I'm gonna just... Uh, sacrifice this skeleton archer. It's for a good cause. Probably this one too next turn. What's up here? That's the kind of question you... Oh! <laughs> darkness is up here. There is a hard-coded area of darkness. Interesting. You, if you want to come out and get attacked. You can have some fun, can't you? <laughs> oh, get away from him. Okay. As a higher level unit under your control, and Linde has special after maximum level advancements. You can learn more about those by right clicking here and choosing the unit advancements option. We will look at those not right now. Because you know what? We've got some bandits to take care of. How to do this most efficiently. I think you can run straight in and just chop up this huntsman a little bit. Soften him up a bit. Not bad. Same, I think. But let's just see. Let's see how good I am at taking out the rest of these folks. You can reach that far too. And so can you. I'm going to let you get the kill. 
Oh no, you're not even strong enough. Will you get the kill? Alright, that opens a passageway. Maybe I can bypass the rest of these. Um, I have a feeling though that this level will not end after this oasis. So... What's the play? The play is probably to proceed as cautiously as I can and to try and get out of the way. Well, you know what? Mm, no. You can see me being tempted by all these terrible, terrible strategic options that are available to me. Um, I want to leave Malkashar to take out this bandit, and I want to try and get rid of this thug first. Unfortunately, most of my units can't quite reach. Well, what I should have done is move you first. If I don't play this judiciously at this point, Malkashar will be killed. So I need to take a little bit of care. And I need to remember that my elven units have to be... Well, it's not a huge deal if they're dehydrated at this point. Dehydrated is fine. Are you very good work? Now that means that you should be able to run over here and land on the house, and you can come in and. I'm not actually attack yet, I just want you to block for the moment. Same with you. I don't want any possibility of escape. Well, at least with a few deaths there, my money's going up again. Um, whatever else can be said about Lemael, he was not loyal. Nearly there. Yes, and Linda, no, I think, think it's actually not the case that she has an additional level to go up to. It's just that she has those unique after maximum level advancements, and that makes her a bit better. So that's why her bar is blue rather than purple. Oh no, my skeletons. Almost over. And I think this wraith deserves a shot at the prize. <coughs> Go to hell, necromancer! Uh. Now, don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. 
You're a strong man. I would hate to waste your useful build tearing you to pieces before dealing the killing blow. Malkashar, stop it. You are not allowed to torture our opponents. Or raise them as undead, for that matter. What does it matter? These are merely barbarians. They know no laws and no honour. Allow him to die in peace. Pa! Let one of your own finish the job instead. Such a waste. Ugh. Orcs, humans, would that we weren't forced to kill everything in our way. Hey, elves. Haha, -ha. great job. Disposing of those invaders was taking us a bit too long. Ah, uh, how may we repay you? Where is your leader? That would be me, Lord Galas of the Elves of the Valley of Elinia. Your men control this pass, I presume. Yes, yes we do. These lands belong to my people, the Eisenstone clan. We do not normally allow visitors in our territory because of reasons, but perhaps we could make an exception for you and your advisor. <laughs> and the necromancer too, of course. We can provide you with food and water for your soldiers at affordable prices. If you are interested, that is. Uh, again, I missed some dialogue there. Um, Gallas, thanks for the offer, but I assume no thanks. Lord Gallas of the Elves! Yes, yes, well, we have heard the rumors. Your people hunt down every human who approaches your sacred valley seeking shelter from the demons. You hunt our species like animals, yes you do. What makes you think we will allow your army to take our lands and lives now, huh? Isn't that what you came here for? Our intentions are not... Enough! If you know what's good for you and your kind, you will turn back now or leave through the southwestern pass. Come on, men. Their intentions are more transparent than they realize. Of course they were trying to set a trap for us. Well, although they have a few necromancers on their side, getting rid of them should be relatively easy. What other options do we have, Melkashar? The southwestern pass they mention, well, it leads to a completely uninhabited plateau. So it is a valid alternative if you want to avoid fighting the humans. Just note that there are barely any sources of water in that direction. Your people would only be able to march at night. Choosing that option would do little good for your popularity after accepting my offer. <laughs> okay, I have a decision to make. And... Ooh. Now, since I didn't save immediately before getting that boss kill, I'm going to have to make this decision now and stick with it. Um, now, because I don't have very many elves in play, what I'm going to do is actually proceed through the southwestern pass, because I think I won't need the water. That is an ill-advised choice, Galas. Proving a point to those barbarians isn't really worth it. Only time will tell for sure. And that's it. The scenario ends just like that. I suspect I would have had to fight more enemies otherwise. But that does mean that I get 350 bonus gold for the next scenario. So yeah, thank you all very much for paying attention. Let's have a look at the casualties. Pay your respects in the chat with an F to our losses. Um, a couple of weak undead and <laughs> rather powerful level three. Elvish Avenger. Um, that was unfortunate, but, you know, it was a hit that I can take in the long run. All right, that's it for today. See you next time.